I want to talk about one of the bigger lessons I learned while growing my companies over the years, and it's about leadership. So when I first got into business and I started hiring people, I was always very task driven. I was always more of like, hey, I'm paying you, here's your job, get it done. And it was drive, 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 right? And it was not a lot of relationship based, anything like that. So one of the toughest lessons I've learned over all these years of growing companies is how to become a good leader. And I'm still working on it. It's an ever changing process uh, as you go through the evolution of building companies. But back in the day, the way that I used to run things was task driven. I would hire people and my mindset was if I'm paying you, you better get your shit done. And it was more of a, you know, drive and push and get things done. And it was like, we've got a goal and it was all revenue driven. And it was burning people out and it wasn't building a team of people that enjoyed working with me, frankly. And what I've done is I'm like, all right, I had to look within and go, how do I become better at leading people and figure those things out? So I started having a conversation with a buddy of mine one day and we started talking about transformational leadership versus normal leadership or task driven leadership. So for me, it was always like, here's the task. I'd show up to meetings. Here's the task. What'd you get done? Right? And what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing today? What are you doing tomorrow? It was all task driven. It was not transformational leadership, so a little bit different where you empower your team to start making the decisions. You start letting them actually own the projects that we're working on. So I really dove in, started reading, started learning, started trying to become a better leader. And along that way, what I learned is that one is not all people are motivated by the same things. Meaning entrepreneurs, we tend to be very motivated by the dollar, by money and driving things and the, the, the reward becomes the revenue, right? Revenue is reward of some of the things we do. So we assume everyone else is that way. So with that not being the case, what I wanted, I, knowing and identifying that not everybody is built the same way, how could I motivate people? So it came down to a few things. Is learning, one is, I had to learn how people work. How do people work? Because we all work different. Some, some work better in different environments. For example, my wife, my wife Susan, she, if I come in and interrupt her and ask her a question on something she might be and she might be midstream working on something, that'll throw her off for the next 45 minutes and she won't be able to get back into the groove of getting things done. Some people get into a groove and they knock things out. Some people can, I mean, I can turn it on and off and just get going. And so there's difference on how people work. So once you identify when people work with you, how do they work? Then second, another thing is you wanna look at what motivates them to work. Not, as I mentioned earlier, not all people are motivated by money. Some people are motivated by acknowledgement in front of the team. Some people are motivated by different things besides money. So you have to identify what those things are and make that happen. And then you wanna figure out how to communicate with people because not everyone not everyone responds uh, the same way when communicating with them. So I can have a direct conversation sometimes with some people that work with us and be like, this is the facts, this is where we're at, this is what's going on, this is what we need to do, and that's how they operate and they, they move better. Sometimes you just have to have more of an open conversation and, and, and whatnot. So the communication styles that you have with people will determine kind of how they interact and whatnot within your team. So me kind of identifying these three things and looking at every person that works with us differently and trying to figure out those three things about them has helped us and helped me as a leader become better at building a better team, having people that truly own things that what we're doing and take initiative and truly helping the company grow and everything becomes about the team and the growth of the company, not just about the individuals and what they're getting done. So that's a big lesson I learned in leadership that I want to share with you and I hope it, uh, hope it helps you out. If you got value out of this video, Make sure to like, comment, and share it. Thank you.